It's going to be a beautiful day. It's going to be a wonderful parade. The 500 Festival has done a great job this month to get us ready for tomorrow. And I hope that a lot of people will come down and enjoy today's festivities. You know, I, nice to see you're wearing nice shoes today. Remember during the campaign, the famous commercial about the stinky shoes <laughs> that he cuts the grass in. Does he still have those shoes? He does, absolutely. One pair we had to throw away. The other are in his office. You have to throw away when he's not looking because otherwise... Absolutely. Right. He would dig him out of the trash if yeah. he knew. <laughs> I, I've done that too. I, I, I know I know exactly how you feel John, it's that. called frugality. <laughs> Absolutely. And you got a pair of shoes that fit right. You got to go that's with them. That's right. That's yeah. right. That's right. So what, is it, what does it mean when, uh, when we have a good day for the parade? Well, uh, yesterday was a wonderful kickoff of this Memorial Day weekend with the service that uh, annually occurs on the steps of the War Memorial. Today's parade is, you know, uh, an integral part of the 500 Festival celebration uh, where people can come together as a community. Obviously, tomorrow's race, I think, will be one of the most exciting and one of the most competitive we've had, uh, with all due respect to the 100th running. Uh, but I want your viewers uh, to remember that whether it's Friday, Saturday, Sunday, or Monday, this weekend is about remembering and honoring those who have sacrificed and, and made the ultimate sacrifice so that the three of us can gather today in freedom and peace and enjoy wonderful parades like today. Yeah, and the parade is, uh, that's a theme that runs through the parade is the Memorial Day weekend and uh, a lot of floats honoring our veterans as, as it should be on Absolutely. this weekend, anytime, but especially on this weekend. Absolutely. It's, um, it, it, it is time to remember uh, the, and, and never let us forget the uh, several hundred thousand service personnel that are uh, on foreign shores right now standing watch uh, so that we can, as I said, enjoy wonderful weekends here in America like this one. So you're going to be in the parade today together. Um, the, the weight that's on your shoulders being the First Lady of Indianapolis, I mean, this is a fun thing today, but usually right. it's a little bit, little bit more. Right. Um, but I don't ever feel a weight. So uh, being the first lady, days like today are pr the best because we get to show Hoosier hospitality to our guests that are here, and we we just get to spend this time together and celebrate, and that's that's what I like. I don't feel a weight though, no. at all. Well, good. That's good. <laughs> and uh, tomorrow, the 101st running of the race, we're going to build off of some of the success of last year, kind of keep that going. It looks like it's going to be a great turnout. Yeah, I mean, uh, IMS, uh, the folks out there were a little concerned as all of us would be about a letdown after right. all of the festivities right. surrounding the 100th running. And the, and the plain fact is Hoosiers and the country have responded. I think the crowd is going to be, uh, again, compelling and enormous. I think we're going to have a very competitive race. It's nice to have names like Fernando Alonso in this year's race. I think it's Fernando Alonso. Uh, Fernando Alonso. There you go. Uh, but, uh, yeah, look, it, it, it's going to be a very, very wonderful uh, race day. And, uh, you know, may the best driver win. You know, we have a, a tradition at Channel 13 on our race day coverage. At the end of the coverage, we all pick who we think is going to win the race. Uh, and I, I so desperately want to say Fernando Alonso, but I don't think I, I, don't, I don't know if I'm feeling that. Do you have an opinion as a longtime Hoosier who you think is going to win? Connor Daly. He's my guy. Okay. I, I just have all my hopes behind him. Well, he'd be having to come from pretty far back to win. I understand, but I'm going to stick with him. Okay. Mary? She, she always goes with Hoosiers. You right. can tell well, that. Sure. Sure. Look, I, you know, I, I, I wish them all a safe yeah. race, first of all. Uh, well, that, that's the politician answer. Well, what's the, what's the uh, fan answer? And, it, and it's also the, 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 the blessing that they all ought to be given. But, you know, look, um, it would be neat uh, to see Elio Castroneves uh, win his right. fourth Indianapolis 500. He's got to come from pretty far back, He's too. He's got to come back from, uh, from pretty far back, but he, uh, in so doing, would join, you know, names like Foyt, uh, Unser Sr., uh, Mears. So, uh, yeah. Dropping like some to, knowledge on us well, here. Well, yeah, knowledge. I, I'd like to see. That's uh, kind of a politician answer, too, but go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I, you know, uh, plead guilty. Okay, um, well, let, me, let, me, let, me, let me ask you this question. Now, we, we've been around long enough that we remember when that track would run, you know, the month of May, and that's it. The rest of the time, it would just shut down. Yeah. It's become a year-round destination now. What does that mean to the city, to the economic development of that side of town? It's, it's huge. And uh, first of all, we've got to give credit to the Holman-George family for their consistent 
uh, investment in uh, motorsports and all other activities now. But I would be remiss if I didn't uh, uh, mention Mark Miles and Allison Melanchthon and the IMS president, Doug Bowles, who is literally a force, uh, force to be reckoned with. They have turned that venue into a multi-purpose, uh, a multi-event venue that really is, uh, is being used all year long, right. which encourages more economic activity, more economic investment, and more visitors coming to Indianapolis to spend their money and and uh, and do good things. And not to mention what they're doing over there in Speedway too. They, they've oh. done a great job on Main Street. Yeah, it's. A, I mean, uh, the town of Speedway has been been completely transformed. Their Main Street is the envy uh, of the West Side, and uh, I got to give kudos to the leadership of Speedway in conjunction with the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. They have both grown tremendously together.